sorry, buddy. Okay, okay. Guys, we're going to be doing some spat Scott chicken today. It's going to be good. He's going to love it. Okay, 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 okay. All right, guys, we're gonna be doing spat scotch chicken today from start to finish. Always does this. <laughs> That's my boy. I don't. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Sit down. <laughs> Again, guys, we're gonna be doing spat scotch chicken today from start to finish. I'm gonna show you how to do it on the pit balls, Austin Excel. From start to finish, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be delicious, and I'm sure y'all will do it, all right? Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. As you can see right here, I got two six pounders chickens that we're gonna cut into half, and basically what we're doing is spatchcock chicken. Yes, sir. And we're basically gonna show you how to do it from start to finish, and the process is very simple, guys. Man, this is gonna be so easy to do, guys. A baby can actually do this. <laughs> All right, guys, so what we're going to need is some kitchen shears, and we're going to use the nose from the back of that chicken to act as our guide and cut our backbone all the way through. Other than that, guys, we're going to need some elbow grease to help us cut all the way through. But, man, it's going to be so simple. Now, you want to always exercise caution when you use some kitchen shears because you don't want to cut off anything that you don't want to get cut off. <laughs> so once we cut off that backbone like so, we can either discard it or save it for some stock. Now, there are two ways to cut through this chicken and split it in half. One is use a butcher's knife just like so and cut it right down the center or two do the old school method and break it in half <laughs> man talking about some uh stress reliever guys man that's gonna be some fun exercise oh man listen to that backbone break it's nothing like it guys man now we're gonna cut off some of that excess fat and that any silver skin that might be remaining in that chicken because that's not gonna be goodies next what we're gonna do is fold the wings back <laughs> All right, guys, let's have a little fun with it, man. Let's have a little fun with it. Big salute to my guy, Nick Foles, man. He took us to the Super Bowl championship that year, man. It's going to be crazy, and I'm going to miss this guy. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is use some canola oil spray to do two things. One, it's going to act as a bonder, and two, it's going to help us crisp up that skin. Then we're going to use our all-purpose barbecue rub. Now, guys, as always, you can use your favorite barbecue rub. Always keep in mind, guys, before you apply any rubs to any particular meat, you always want to shake that bottle thoroughly. You want to incorporate every single piece of the ingredient that's in that particular rub, guys. We want to make sure that we coat every single inch of that bird because we want a full flavor chicken. Now, we're going to flip and repeat on the opposite side just to make sure that it's going to be a nice seasoned bird, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to taste anything in particular and not get a fully flavored piece of meat, man. I'm telling you, that's very, very disappointing, especially in the barbecue world. That's why we're going to leave no skin unrubbed. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to let these uh, birds marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes, and we're going to prep our pellet smoker for grilling and smoking. Oh, yeah. And today's wood flavor is going to be cherry, apple, and maple. I believe this is going to give a nice color and a nice wood flavor to that bird. Oh, man. Then we're going to crack our temperatures up to 250 degrees and let it come up to 10. Now, take a look at those, guys. Take a look at the rubs that are adhering to that skin. And time for some smoke flavor. Yes, sir. <laughs> Guys, we haven't cooked these birds yet. And take a look at those birds. Oh, my goodness. They look good right now, guys. I don't know about you, but they are looking phenomenal. So we're going to let these birds sit in that particular pit ball sauce and excel and let that smoke penetrate and give it another layer of flavor. So it's all about layers of flavor, guys. That's the whole entire key to the barbecue world. Next, we're going to use the Tenergy probe system. This is going to allow us and help us monitor our chickens as far as temperature goes. It's going to help us gauge us to the particular target temperature that we're going to be shooting for. And that particular target temperature is going to be between 165 and 170. One of the major reasons why I love using this particular probe system is because it allows me to walk away for about 100 feet or more and it alerts my phone once the temperature either goes up or down or it's close to that target temperature. And it allows me to do multi tasking guys that's what i love to do is multitask while i'm cooking now after one hour guys let's take a look at all particular chickens and see what they looking like oh man the color on these birds are starting to set in guys and disregards those ribs because they are special cook for somebody special now after the second hour guys let's take a look at those birds again oh yeah oh yeah take a look at that brown mahogany color guys wow 
man oh man i'm telling you this is gonna be some crispy crispy skin once we are finished with it so after another 30 minutes guys our temperature is starting to rise and it's time to flip these babies to ensure even cooking on both sides and also just to make sure we get a nice even amount of smoke on the opposite side as well guys oh man i can't wait guys this is gonna be some goodies i promise you this if you try this recipe it's very simple to do guys so after another 30 minutes guys let's take a look at those birds again now we're not too far off from our target temperature as far as the uh, pit bulls are set and take a look at that oh yeah baby oh, oh man disregard the ribs guys can you hear that sizzle yeah, the crispiness. All right, guys. So the total amount of time that we smoked and cooked our chicken at was three and a half hours at 250 degrees. So it's time to check for doneness. And as you can see, we're shooting for about 165 or above on our chickens. And as you can see by our probe, we are pretty much above that number. Now, guys, some of you fellas might be saying, "Oh man, he overcooked his chicken," and I promise you this, guys. Once we cut into them, you're gonna see the major difference of why I shoot for these particular numbers. It's a little unorthodox, but I promise you, this is gonna be some goodies. So let's pull these babies off and let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes, loosely covered, guys. Oh man, I can't wait to take a bite of these, guys. So this is my version of spatchcock chicken guys wow oh man i can't wait so time for the big reveal guys oh look at that guys look at the juices running oh man oh yeah look at that Look at the juices. Look at that. Wow. Gotta have a piece of this. Look at that. Juices all over the place. Mm. Wow. That's phenomenal. Very juicy. Wow. Take a look at that, guys. Look at that. It's porn. It is porn. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, this is Smoking Jazz Barbecue. Peace.